You know, Andres. What's up? When you when you're first starting out in anything, you make a lot of dumb mistakes. Some of us. Just out of pure ignorance. Not not you. Not you, but but me. I wouldn't. You know? So that, like, but we all know that maybe perhaps you you would every now and then. You know what I mean? Simple stuff that you probably shouldn't have to be told, but like like you're not supposed to bribe police officers, you know? Well, it depends what country you are. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's, that's a good, I wasn't supposed to see that's exactly you, you see stuff on the on the films and the pictures and anyways. The same is true for learning guitar. So we're gonna talk about some tips that we that blew our mind when we first started out a guitar. They may seem like total common sense to someone who's been playing for a while, but we both distinctly remember going through these and being like this is an eye-opening oh, experience. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And so we're going to do some of these on my channel, some of these on his channel. So click the link when you're done watching this video for even more fire tips. Please do. So should I should I start out? Yeah, go with, ahead. With an embarrassing one? All right. What? I didn't know that when you break a string, you're supposed to buy a whole new set. Like, I was like, well, I broke a string. I've been, like, I've been playing guitar for a year. I've got the dirtiest, grimiest strings, and finally, by the mercy of the heavens, my <laughs> high E string breaks. Then I'm like, oh, I'll just go get a single high E string. And the guys are like, you sure you don't want a new set? And I'm like, you trying to rob me? You trying to rip me off, bro? I just need a high E string. He's just a salesman trying to sell me a new set. I didn't know that you should probably change all of the strings at once. You, that is always the best thing to do, but I, I know what you mean because I remember going through that. Mm -hmm. And I remember also waiting forever until one of them broke. Right. Uh, <laughs> but I actually went to the store and and I got sold one. Mm -hmm. You can't. They, can. they do sell so, them separately, and I didn't know this uh, here. Sometimes in, they do. Sometimes they don't. Depending on the store, for sure. But but yeah. but yeah, it's always. Now I know that that once one broke, the other ones are gonna go too very soon. Yes, and also it's like. There are exceptions. Sometimes you just might be restringing it breaks and like, yeah, put a fresh one on because whatever. But yeah, I, d I didn't even think that like, oh, you replace all of them at the same time. But, but you do. Can't bribe the police in Sarasota, Florida. Can't buy a single string or maybe you shouldn't. I mean, you can. Anyway, that's my first embarrassing tip. What about you? That's pretty what, funny. What, what do you got? Well, one tip that I got, this is very cool. This blew my mind. Okay. Oh. All right. Uh, I'm gonna take my trusty wallet here. Look at, look at this. What a, which has a notebook inside. Is this is this a tip or is this just you flexing on people with oh, your or both? <laughs> oh, check this out. Okay. Here's a piece of paper. All right. Someone said, if you put a piece of paper over your strings, you can use as a maraca, like a shaker. Ah, oh, okay. Yeah. Oh. But I mean, you're not supposed to put your fingers here. Sure, I right, think right, you're just, right, yeah. But you need like a bigger piece of paper, so mm -hmm. it actually holds the, the entire string. So I'm not really flexing <laughs> my wallet. Because... Cool, great tip. Oh. Check, check it out. <laughs> that sounds like a percussion, doesn't it? Sure. That's right, yeah, the high end of that, for sure. Anyways. Do you ever loop, uh, loop that? Because he's a live looper. He's an awesome live looper. Check out your channel thank you. if you haven't. No, I did loop but it like years ago. I'm many, sure, I'm many sure. years. It sound great. Eventually, mm -hmm. I learned this many, many years ago, but eventually I saw a, a video of Johnny Cash doing it. Really? I was like, seriously? Mm -hmm. he, he, can, he does it too. There we he go. did it too. I mean, I, that kind of leads me into my next thing. It's just like any manipulation that is of your instrument that is non-traditional, I never, un I never understood. That, that's what it takes to blow your mind. When, Same. When you never seen it. Like even like again, this is a guitar video, but like with drums, like a lot of times you'll see a drummer put like his wallet, his or her wallet and keys on the oh, snare yeah, 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 just to yeah. deaden yeah. it or yeah, make yeah, it yeah. sound, give it a vibe. Like there's just any way that you can manipulate the instrument is interesting. So you my, just made me think of another thing that I can throw as an extra. One. Totally right. Oh uh, yeah. Which. In that same vein, my next tip is palm muting. I I played for years, not knowing if people get that. Oh yeah, that's it. I, like I didn't know how people did that. I thought maybe that was like a different type of guitar, or maybe they're just like using their like hand to yeah. like stop the sustain and not actually just. Well, like what a, what a changer, it. right? What a what a life. Oh my changer. gosh! I was like, it sounds so much better <laughs> and now it's, i and now i can't stop and uh, yeah and, and uh, now you get you get to choose you you can play just normal and then mute certain parts which reminds me of blink 
Blink 165, is it? I think that was it, yeah. Uh -huh. Or yeah. what is the number? It was a big number. Blink, I don't Blink something, it. right? Yeah, something. But great, they, they great do that mariachi band. They do, one of the best yeah, mariachi bands. Yeah, it's one of the best mariachis we yeah, have in uh -huh. Jalisco. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I always listen to Blink 165 mm. while having a shot at Tequila. Oh, and, uh, oh my gosh. It's, it's a great time. <laughs> See it? So manipulation of yeah. your instrument yeah, with you your hands. More, you get more options. Or with your tiny notebook piece of paper. Tiny notebook. Tiny I did, but mighty. I, I just never understood that that was a thing. And now again, now my right hand is locked to the bridge almost every time I pick up a guitar. <laughs> so that's, uh, that's something that I was... That's a cool one. Blew that's my cool mind, Andres. Uh, what, 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 nice. what else blew your mind? My turn? Yeah, it's your turn. All right. Oh, minor, <laughs> minor chords versus major chords. No, I was man. learning a bunch of chords, right? Basically, I was learning the ice cream chords. You know the, the you know the, those, right? The main ones that, yeah. C, G, yeah. Those are the first things, I, the first chords I ever learned is the, the ice ice cream G, C, uh, progressions or whatever. That's, sure, yeah. Yeah. I was, I was a little edgier. I was an E minor guy. E minor? Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. That was my first No, because chord. so many so many songs in Mexico uh, of the traditional romantic repertoire mm -hmm. uh, in Mexico, they are they are using the ice cream progressions. Blink 162. Like they, could, they Blink, couldn't get like away from Blink that GCD. 535. Yeah. yeah. Uh -huh. so, um, so, but I didn't really know the difference between a minor and major chord. And I'm not talking about the theory of uh, what makes it a minor or a major, but mm -hmm. someone told me, Something very basic. When you play a minor chord, it sounds sad. When you play a major chord, it sounds happy. That blew me away. Like just one chord, same chord, but making it minor, okay. it does suddenly feel freaking sad. So you're talking about attaching an emotion, emotion to a sound. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah, because, yeah, yeah. Uh, because at that point, when you start playing the guitar, I think the most uh, the most basic drive for you to play the guitar is based on emotion, how you feel. Sure. Like I I felt great. I wanted to wake up and grab my guitar and play. Mm -hmm. So it is attached to emotion, music. But then knowing that just I have the power to create emotion, just with your fingertips, just with one yeah. uh, note that uh, that that changes. Flat. There, there you go. Oh. I like. Ah, oh, what a beautiful day. Oh wow, there's some clouds in the sky. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, I, I only I only wore five rings to the five, video shoot. Five rings today. <laughs> Where did I put the other Where did ring? I put my sixth through tenth rings? Oh, I remember. It's coming in the mail today. <laughs> it's coming in the mail today. Oh, but, but it's Sunday. The mail doesn't come. Oh today. my gosh. That's, Unbelievable. That's brutal. That's brutal, man. <laughs> yeah, that's a mind-blowing thing. Once you start understanding the emotion behind it. Oh music. my gosh. Heck I got, yeah. I got another tip for you. Again, How this, many do we have? You? I got, all right, well, this is our, our fifth one. Uh, That's our fifth one? But I got a bonus one, too. I got a bonus Oh, you, oh, oh you all right, all right. Well, we're go, we're going one. above and beyond and today, as we one. always do, right? Always. And, all right, so this is something that I think a lot of beginners, uh, especially egotistical beginners such as myself, deal with. Oh, you? I, I was under the impression after playing for a year, and I was like, I could play this, right? I was under the impression that I was pretty good at guitar. <laughs> I was playing guitar for a year. I, I could play some, I could play like. <clears throat> and I was like, I'm pretty good. I think I'm getting pretty good, guys. I was under the impression that I was a good guitar player after one year. <laughs> and it blew my mind. I'll, I'll never forget the time that I was humbled. I was served, right? What did you see? And again, so I, uh, and, and the funny thing is, like, I didn't have any musical friends, nobody, I was totally self-taught. So I could kind of be forget, like I could play Red Hot Chili Pepper songs, I could play Led Zeppelin songs, badly, but I yeah, thought right. I was playing them, right? So I got this amp from Guitar Center, and uh, it had some issues, there was like a grounding issue. So I brought it back, and I'm like, I think there's something wrong with this amp, it was making a lot of hiss, a lot of noise, and stuff like that. So the pro audio dude's like, oh, let me check it out, right? And he plugs it in, and just starts just ripping. And I'm like, oh my I'm like, god! What's this dude doing working at Guitar Center, right? And I'm like, you just had it with a gain activated, right? Just, on distortion. No, or, just, or yeah, just whatever, just clean, no reverb, whatever. And I'm wow. like, oh, wow, this guy's awesome. And then the guy's like, you know, I, 
I don't, I don't hear it. Let me get the other guy over here, right? So we brought like another guy over, and he's like, "Can you listen to this?" And he just starts just shredding. Another it. one. I did just another random Guitar Center employee, and I'm like, "Who are these legends? <laughs> legends of the music industry working at the Grand Rapids Guitar Center in West Michigan?" And then a third guy comes over. He's like, "Oh, I think I hear it." And then he starts ripping, and oh I'm like, God. "Maybe I'm not that good Maybe. at guitar. <laughs> Maybe what, there's what? a lot of people out there that can." Well, do the this. funny thing about that is that not everyone has that humbling experience. Like <laughs> That's some people, true. years go by, like yeah. another three years, four years mm -hmm. go by, and they still say that I'm very good guitarist. Isn't that funny? It's crazy. Yeah, like, and we're like, like... Do you not get out? Do you not listen to other bands? Do you not go to, to your guitar, local guitar center? It's, it's so... And it's, look at the people that play it's there? It's so funny, yeah? right? Uh, and again, I don't know. Like, we're both professional musicians. And like, we would never be like... No. And, we're and, great at guitar. You and know and, and the, like, more, the more years I go by, the less of a guitarist I feel when I see all these other sure, guitarists. Sure, yeah, uh-huh. And I'm like, I go just one minute listening to Paco de Lucia on YouTube. Oh my gosh. And that's all you right. need. Uh, yeah, you're done. That's it. Are you, what are you going to say to that? Yeah. Uh, you know? You're like, okay, here. And again, I'm, I'm going to put I'm, this away. I'm going to go shop for more rings. And I, yeah, <laughs> I, just, I need to get those rings. I'm just going to put this away. I'll be right back. There's new rings <laughs> yeah. available. See how many on rings the you can wear, Paco. Yeah. Huh? yeah. Paco, can you wear the rings <laughs> and play those songs? No, so. you cannot. No, I couldn't. No, absolutely also, not. Also, he passed. That's true. Oh, mm -hmm. no. oh, sorry, Paco. Thanks for taking it there. I was having a good time. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But no, it's, it's funny because I again, I'm very, I'm very flattered anytime someone get, pays me a compliment about my guitar. Playing. Yeah, me too. But also, but it's I, like, but I remember. We we I know. know we know that. Yeah, we know. Listen, we play guitar. A lot of people play guitar. It's not it's not a ego thing. But yeah, it was it was a humbling. Blew my mind when I found out I wasn't going to be the next great guitar player of all time. <laughs> Happened early though. So that's um, funny. You said you got a bonus tip. I got another one, yeah. and, and you may remember this, using objects to alter, like you said, to alter mm -hmm. your mm -hmm. traditional sound. Yeah. Like I, I saw someone uh, using at a show another, like an object, like a wallet or a lighter or something. Mm -hmm. To play the slide. I'm oh like, yeah, yeah. And, and so like, I started doing it. Or I had yeah, to get. Uh -huh. Oh look. Oh, I'm gonna drink a little bit of this. Oh, watch this. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, and people. <gasps> oh, what what? A, it's like MacGyver <gasps> for guitar. <laughs> oh, and I, and I, lo I love the, the the people that tell the, their families and friends like mm -hmm. at their table. Oh sure. He's grabbing his his drink to to play. Look, watch. <laughs> I'm like, it's working. It's, work. <laughs> it's, it's working. <laughs> it's all for the attention. You're trying to play it cool, but inside I'm you're desperate just like, for attention. I'm so desperate. It's working. And it's working. <laughs> That's great. That's it. You want a bonus? I got a bonus tip. You got a bonus one? All right, this blew my. You know, this didn't. And this wasn't actually when I was an absolute beginner. I've been playing for a few years. When I discovered that songs and all music is really just math. And this is something that I feel like I have solidified as a performer and just taking requests which is the best practice you could do is just take requests yeah because you know we've done it so long we're at the point now if somebody gives us a request we can listen to it for 30 seconds learn it and then kind of predict the what the rest of the song is going to sound like yeah right right uh, yeah with exceptions like prog rock that are like whatever yeah. unless it's like a radiohead song sure sure radio that will take yeah, you yeah, to yeah. all these different parts but for the most part the, most the stuff part. you're going to get requested you can hear in two seconds and then you know you know what's the next chord yep you know what's you know where it's going because it's all math right uh, in most of western music scales are made with seven different notes there are really only six I, main chords. After this, I want to add something. Sure, to that, yeah. There's to only the, six the math chords. Okay. There's only certain progressions. You develop an ear for the sound of those progressions. And then it's just like, oh, all of music is really just math. Just math. And now, I don't want to take gonna... anything away from the beauty of it, because you can still add a vibe to it. You can use your creativity to add a style to it. It's just that I'm reading a book about that, so I want to I wanna mention please, it here. Please do, but yeah, that was, that was something that blew my mind. It's like... Wow, every song can really and e and even even the most even the craziest polyphia songs can be broken down into a chord chart eh? even if it's just a, a insane amount of notes there are still chords behind those and it's all math mm -hmm. that blew my mind what, what that blew your mind yeah well i would have been blown like yeah that blows my mind too but recently which is funny that you've mentioned this i picked up a book that is called the sub submersive subversive 
The Subversive History of Music by Ted Goya. Oh, really? And it's talking about how music wasn't just math. Before. Like, since Pythagoras, the one with the triangles, yeah, he's uh -huh. the one that started analyzing and making it into, it's all math, watch. You can study it. And hmm. but, but when they try to study the African music and all these notes in between notes and rhythms in between rhythms that were impossible to chart, really? to write, and, and so he's talking about how music is more than math and oh, how yeah. now they just want to make it like it's something you you write and it's all math. Mm -hmm. So it's like kind of the opposite, but it's it's pretty impressive. Like you should take a I'll, I'll a quick out. read just mm -hmm. to, it's pretty amazing. All right, you're trying to refute my tip. No, no, <laughs> no, no, no. But it, yeah, but it, yeah, it's an aspect that I never thought of. Okay, because well, cool. I also, we'll, because we'll that's how that they book. teach you in school. Sure. It's all math, all math, all math. And somehow, supposedly, there's way more to it. You're going to make me read a book? <laughs> That's man. Look at this. We just um, how each cool other, is that? Making each other how smarter. Cool you should right. link the the book and the gonna in be the, in the in the description just so, so they can take a look. Along with more Andres Colin summer reading tips. Anything else here? <laughs> Anything. Well, uh, I I have another book, a guide to men jewelry, it's by Johnny Depp. <laughs> it's by Johnny Depp. It's brand new. It's very impressive. Look, I'm already yeah. learning. Jo jo Johnny's got a lot of information to share with the public. It's very right. very so cool. It's <laughs> <laughs> very very cool well thank you, can, you. from oh, the comfort of your soil bed you can order <laughs> the no more comfortable place in the world <laughs> Jesus. another dark turn to the end of the video right well thank you for joining us hey, Andres. thanks for having me and make sure to check out this guy's channel for the for the the supplemental video yes is launching at the same supplemental time. and complimental and complimented let us know what's on your summer reading list and also if you have any man jewelry that you'd like to donate to the cause